Hey what's up guys and welcome to this video. This video is just a simple guide on getting started with PC gaming by using a controller. How do you actually get a controller and make it work with all your games? Now the best thing to say is that no matter what controller you have it is very simple. You can go out and you can buy one that's meant for PC, you just plug it in via USB and you're away. But more likely is that you don't have one of those, you're not going to get one of those, you already have a standard games console controller in your house. Now if you have one of these, the controller of my personal choice, an Xbox 360 wireless controller. Now this sadly won't work if you just plug it in using a play and charge kit with your computer. You're going to need one of these and it should be overlaid somewhere now. A USB wireless receiver. And once you plug that in, a few drivers will install on your PC. They're kind of within Windows so you don't need to worry about that. And then all you need to do is just hold down the button. Yep. And then it will connect and as you can see, I'm ready to go. Simple as that. However, if you don't have one of those, if you have an Xbox One controller, then it's just as simple actually. You just need to get a USB cable, plug it in, and you're away and ready to go. What if you have a Sony controller though, I hear you cry. Well, unfortunately that is slightly more difficult. And that is because of something called Direct Input. Now when a game is being developed, it either uses something called X Input or Direct Input. Both of these are APIs and what they do is enable the controller to actually be able to talk to the game so they can actually work with each other and your controller obviously will work. Now the problem is that the majority of games only work with X Input and because an Xbox 360 is X Input then it means pretty much every single game will work with an Xbox 360 controller or Xbox One controller, no questions asked. However, with a PlayStation controller, it's not going to work with the majority of games. So you need something that will enable it to actually talk to the games. And we either use something called DS3 tool or DS4 tool. So both of those stand for DualShock 3 or DualShock 4 tool. Very simple things, just download them. I've left them in the link below so you'll get whichever one you obviously need, if you, depending on which controller you've got. And then it literally is a case of installing the software setting it up there's just a few different things to do it's just it really is very simple it's pretty straightforward and then you just need to plug your controller in and then it should all be working that's the usb approach that's the easiest way to do it you just use your standard usb cable that came with your console plug it in use ds4 or ds3 tool and then you can play with your controller with any of your games if you want to use it over bluetooth it is slightly more complicated and it might not necessarily work it depends on how good your Bluetooth adapter and drivers are. Probably won't be an issue. If you've got a PlayStation 4 controller, then you just need to hold down this share and PlayStation buttons until it connects to your PC. Then once you've paired it, then again, you still need to use the DS4 tool and that will work. And it's a very similar approach with the DualShock 3. Personally, I would say the easiest thing to do is to do what I use, which is just one of these with a play and charge kit. But then again, I used to be an Xbox gamer ages ago to be honest and that was just what I had left over so that is what I opted for but you'll more than likely want to go for whatever controller you've got lying around the house if you are going to go out and buy one 360 controller still probably is your best bet the Xbox One controller is a better controller and will work over USB but I prefer having it wireless and the Xbox One controller is a lot more expensive anyway I hope this has been you know fairly straightforward fairly useful if it sounds like I haven't gone in depth it's because there's really not that much really to say I mean that's just how it works it's quite simple Xbox controller plug it in you know plug the wireless receiver in if you need one of those PlayStation get a bit of software then you just plug it in and either way you're a way to go very simple I wouldn't worry about it thank you very much for watching this video this was a suggestion by someone that wanted to know how to do it so if you have any more suggestions leave them in the comment section below send me a message whatever and i'll try and do a video on it thank you very much don't forget to like this video subscribe dislike if you didn't like it but either way do leave a comment thank you very much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video